going on guys? Welcome to the Final Gear Review. Today we're going to be doing a review of the SKD Tactical Pig Gloves. Now PIG stands for Patrol Incident Gear. Uh, SKD has a whole line under the PIG classification, everything from gloves to uh, plate carriers and some really interesting and neat innovative products. So if you guys have never been to SKD Tactical's website, please go check it out. The link will be down in the description box along with a link directly to these gloves. Uh, these gloves are primarily a shooting glove. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, I just go to the local Lowe's store or Walmart and buy mechanics gloves. And you know what? For some people, that's that's perfectly fine. I know for myself, I tried shooting with just standard mechanic type gloves. I tried shooting with uh, my SI assault gloves from Oakley. And it wasn't effective. Uh, I had a hard time finding my trigger pl placement. I had a hard time feeling the trigger break. And it just caused my accuracy to suffer miserably. And when I say miserably, I'm talking, it was embarrassing. Um, after my first round, I promptly took the gloves off, threw them in my car, and they didn't go on the rest of the day. Um, so these gloves are meant just for shooting. Now, a lot of people may also ask, why do you really need gloves when you're shooting? There's a few reasons. Uh, one, if it's hot out, when you're shooting, that firearm can get very, very hot, especially if you're shooting a M4 or an M16 or any sort of long rifle where you have your hand down the barrel and you're putting lots of rounds through, even with that uh, hand guard, it can still get very, very hot. Um, and these protect your hands from heat. Now, another reason you might need shooting gloves is, for those of you that are familiar with rail systems, you know those rail systems can get pretty sharp on the corners, and when you're running around, you're moving your hands back and forth, you can cut your hands up. And then also, just the pure and simple fact, you just want a little bit of protection from reaching down into gravel if you're picking up a, uh, a magazine, uh, when you're loading the ammunition, you just want a little bit of extra protection. So you get the best of both worlds. These give you some protection, um, nothing close to you know another glove like the SI Assault glove, but they give you that small amount of protection from heat or abrasion that you need, while at the same time giving you excellent uh, tactile feel. Now, the inside of this glove is made from a soft material um, that I'm not familiar with. It's They call it a clair, Clarino or Clarinio. Um, and it's just a single layer, and this stuff is amazingly thin. The closest thing is I can uh, describe it to is almost like a suede, but so much thinner, and it doesn't have that hair feeling to it, uh, where there's little hairs sticking up off of it. Um, and that's all the way through the glove. Now, that gives you fantastic uh, tactile feel. You can feel everything when you're holding these gloves. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a pair on here for you. What we got here is we got the black pair and tan pair. These are my vehicle gloves. They sit on my dashboard along with my SI Assault gloves. And when I don't think I need, you know, all the rugged, hard protection of a, you know, a, a carbon knuckle and padded fingers and whatnot, I'll toss these on. And that way I know I've got just a little bit of uh, protection on my hands. Now, these gloves, the first and foremost thing when you put these gloves on is you're going to realize you barely feel them. You hardly can feel these gloves. They are so light. They are so thin that it's almost like they're just an extension of your body. Um, <clears throat> now, with that being said, SKD Tactical makes a very pointed uh, statement in their website about these are consumable products. Um, they are not meant to last you through, you know, beating and tearing them up. They're consumable. They're going to tear down, they're going to fall apart, and you're going to have to buy new ones. So don't go into this thinking, I'm going to buy a pair of these, and I'm going to go out, and I'm going to chop lumber, and I'm going to go shooting with them, and I'm going to fish with them, and whatever else people might want to do with gloves and think they're going to last me seven years. They're not. Um, now that's not to say the build quality is not good. The build quality on these gloves is excellent. Everything is stitched fantastic where you've got a lot of stress. You've got double stitching kind of like here in the palm. You got here on the uh, 
thumb weld, and then even down here, you got double stitching around your, your loop. So don't mistake me for saying they're not gonna hold up to abuse into thinking that they're not well constructed, they are, but because they're so thin, they're primarily meant for shooting. We'll go over some of the features here. Now, if you guys look here on uh, these three fingers, you're gonna notice there's a slit over the bottom part of my knuckle. Now, what that is, is that allows me to move my hand without any restriction. What I, The website calls that a flex joint. Um, and it's a fantastic idea because if you recall, I said my main problem with these were is there's so much padding and protection, it's hard to close your hand around things. Um, there's a lot of resistance. You don't have that with these. I mean, it's, I, you really have to try them yourself to believe it. it. It's insane how great these gloves are when it comes to flexibility and being lightweight. Now, moving on to your trigger finger, the most important finger when you're actually going shooting. You've got two of these flex joints. You've got your bottom flex joint, and then your top flex joint where you're gonna be flexing for the trigger. Now, you've also got one on the thumb, which, you know, everyone forgets the thumb, but that's really what separates us from other animals, other than monkeys. Um, you've got micro suede here on the thumb, which is fantastic for wiping your nose, wiping off goggles, whatever you might need to do. Uh, you do have some padding. This is really, there's only two places on this glove where you have padding, and that's here on the knuckles. It's just a, a thin layer of padding, um, which is fantastic. It's not overkill, and it's not short on padding. And then you've got a uh, some padding here on your back side of your hand. That's fantastic, I found, for when you're down on the ground, you've got your hand down here. Um, on the ground, it just gives you that little bit of padding if you're on rocks or if you're on uh, grass or concrete. Fantastic addition. And then you've got this little loop here. Um, I enjoy this loop just because I hang gloves from my uh, different areas in my car with carabiners. And this lets me hang these for quick access on my active shooter bag. If you guys watch that video, you'll remember there's a little clip area on the shoulder strap. I hook these tan ones right on there, so when I grab that active shooter bag, we're out, we're moving, and I don't get in there and go, crap, where the hell are my gloves? They're always there with me. Um, the last thing I wanna go over here is the, uh, the wrist closure. It's a very high wrist closure. Um, when you measure yourself for these gloves, they're gonna tell you to measure to this first line um, on your wrist. And the reason for that is, is these gloves, they really don't go past that. They're very short. You don't have to worry about interference with a watch or interference with a jacket or a long uniform sleeve. I mean, they're way up there, but still provide the, the necessary protection. And then of course, closure wise, you've got just a very simple hook and loop. Now, this is a different type of hook and loop I've never seen before. It's very low profile, and for hook and loop, it's it's actually quiet. Um, I mean, there's, there's still noise, but there's just something different about these hook and loops. I need to find out what exactly is different, but it's a different type of hook and loop. Uh, like I, always, guys, if you guys have any questions, if there's anything I forgot to include in this review or anything you want to know, please let me know, and we will either answer the questions in the comment section, or we'll just go ahead and we'll make a whole other video to address your questions. I want to make sure you guys have a good idea of what these products are before, we, uh, or before you go out and buy one, if that's what you're doing. Uh, again, like this video, subscribe, guys, and we'll see you soon.